It was like an apocalypse. The world was forced to shut down. So was New York City. Many things we took for granted no longer exist. It was supposed to be a short goodbye, and 18 months later, I'm finally back. City, oh, it has open arms for everyone. When I see the city skyline upon my return, I know this is where I belong. Somewhere between living and dreaming, there is New York. And if I follow my heart and gut, it will lead me to the Big Apple. Welcome home. We say New York strong. The pandemic affected every New Yorker and business, and left many places in despair. As New Yorkers, we know New York is all about survival, and we've always managed to bounce back. The story is about the people, the culture, and the rebirth of the city. Home sweet home, the many things have changed. Although I no longer have my apartment in Upper East Side. I still look forward to settling back in the city. Once I've lived in New York and made it your home, nowhere else is quite like it. After all the long gone moments, I feel nostalgic and want to feel being at home again. At Times Square, the excitement and energy in the air made me realize how much I miss the street, the noises, and the people in New York. It is time to reconnect with all the places and faces in the city. First, I meet up with Lyndon and catch up at his new Dante in West Village. Hey, Lyndon, no title and see. Nice to see you. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. How is yes. everything with you? How was the pandemic? Uh, it's been a, a very unusual journey, one that we certainly yeah. could never have anticipated. But um, I think that there's been a many great uh, results and silver linings as a result of it. And we have some of our bottled cocktails here, which were our life force through the pandemic. So yeah. when they shut down uh, the New York restaurants and bars, um, wow. the following day, the governor came out and said, you're, you're, you're able to sell the food and the drinks that you're offering in your restaurant externally. Yes. Um, so we closed for one day and then we reopened opened uh, the following day uh, with, with bottled cocktails. So before the pandemic, we had to batch a lot of our cocktails to make sure that they could be served quickly to keep up with the demand. So we, we kind of had the science behind how the cocktails could be packaged and sent kind of pre externally. Kind of already. Exactly, nice. yes. So, wow. um, yes. And everything was made in here, in-house. Yes. Yeah. I'm glad to kind of re-experience this right now. So. Yeah. I'm so happy to be back here and then such a treat to see you, yes. and to catch up with you. But now I'm ready to try some of the new. Yes, the new, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> thanks so much, hey, Linda. Thanks well, for coming see, and Let's catch up soon again. I'd love that. So nice. New York could be a small village sometimes. While I'm sipping the award-winning cocktails at a corner table, someone passes by and knocks on the window. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Nice to see you. To see you it's too. been so long. Where are you heading? I am headed to rehearsal. Okay, amazing. Well, now everything's reopening. How exciting. Yeah. I know you're super busy and you're on the way. Maybe we can catch up on the way there or sure. something. Awesome. Yeah. Let me just get a check and we can go. Okay. Oh, so good to see you. So how was last year, 2020? <laughs> well, it all started the day we shut down, right? So I was headed to the theater uh -huh. in the morning. We had two shows and we got a call that Broadway shut down. And so I turned around and went back home. So, so what do you end up doing? 
I mean, so, for the, the time that was lockdown or the pandemic. That whole time I pivoted a little and I became a teacher. You know, as artists, we have to adapt and we have to find ways to survive and stay creative and stay inspired. And so it was really great to still have that option to teach. And then now, how's the reopening treating you? I mean, so happy the Broadway is back. <laughs> Hamilton is back. Hamilton is back, Broadway is back. Um, everything is going smooth so far. It feels so good to be on stage and it feels so amazing to be singing and the audience in the house, hearing the cheers. The opening night was incredible. We had like six standing ovations or something and the show is like 30 wow. minutes longer because the applause was just Wow. Insane. The energy was amazing. I can't wait to see you on the stage. Absolutely. You have to yeah. come see us. Oh my god. Yes. Oh. Definitely. Well, how about next week then? <laughs> Let's do it. Yes. <laughs> awesome. While things are looking back up, I received a text from my dear friend Damien inviting me for a boat ride with his friend Ben in his Latitude 40 and Yard Charters. With a bottle of champagne, I joined the crew on the yacht, catching up over a few drinks. Ben has told me that the pandemic has inspired him to create his yacht charter company for a safe and intimate environment for families and people to reconnect and create beautiful memories on the water. Starting from the East River, down to Statue of Liberty, New York Harbor, and Hudson River. There's no better way to explore the city through the waterways. It's the perfect afternoon spent with old and new friends, with the entire city as our backdrop. As the night falls, just minutes after walk down 5th Avenue, an electric scooter comes my way with another familiar face. Hey, Benny, what are you doing here? Hey, how are you doing? Good, what are we up to? I'm busy, New York is back open. I'm running yeah? around playing shows everywhere. Oh my God, what are, you, what are you doing tonight? I'm on my way up to Harlem right now and playing at Minton's Playhouse. Really? What is the program there? We're doing all the music of Duke Ellington, Thelonious Monk, Charlie Parker, oh, Dizzy wow. Gillespie. It's one of the most historic jazz clubs in New York. I haven't been there yet. What are you up to? Uh, I just finished a meeting and that's it. Well, come on, come with me. Let's go up to Harlem. Are Yeah, just hop on right here. Oh my here. God, okay. Let's go. Here I am, joining the crowd and other musicians at Minton's Playhouse, Harlem's landmark jazz club. Ben is indeed a charmer with his music on stage. The evening could not feel more lively, followed by the jam sessions. As the jazz melody lingers between the city lights and streets, a surge of hope and positivity has already arrived for the new chapter of New York City. <laughs> 